Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make some beautiful holiday arrangements with free foraged greens. Hi, it's Steph. And this afternoon, I went to a greens workshop with my local garden club. At the end of the workshop, I was able to bring home a bunch of leftover greens, and we're gonna turn these free greens into some more Christmas decor by decorating my sheds, window boxes, and planters. If you watched my last Christmas greens or winter greens video, where I had foraged a bunch of greens to decorate my front porch planters, um, the first step that you wanna take is clean out any debris or old plants that you have in your containers. In this case, I had some mandevilla in my shed window boxes throughout the summer, so I'm going to get those out. I'm using my Hori Hori to saw the root ball out and in these I have already done a pretty good job about cleaning up these planters so now the next step is get rid of these and start placing some greenery Now that I've cleaned up my containers, the only other thing I'm going to do before I start placing my cuttings is I'm going to make sure that I water the soil so that there will be moisture available to the cuttings once I place them in the dirt. Then once the temperatures drop and your cuttings are in here, they'll freeze and lock in place and then you do not have to do anything else to these for the rest of the winter. When you're creating your containers, you want to make sure that you keep them pretty balanced. In this case, I am doing both window boxes, so I want to keep them pretty symmetrical. So what I'll do is anytime that I add greens to this side, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So if you keep working from side to side, at the end, you'll end up with the window boxes or containers that look pretty balanced. If you watched my last video where we made the Christmas containers with winter greens that we foraged, I didn't have berries in my garden to cut. So we had used some floral berry picks that I had purchased at the Dollar Tree. Well, today, um, the person's home who we went to had plenty of berries to pick from. So I have some beautiful holly berries in my arrangements. I think it's looking really nice. So I'm working with exactly what I brought home, which was a bucket of greens. And it looks like this is some type of juniper, but it almost has like a little bit of a yellow hue to the tips. And then I have some uh, U, Y-E-W in the back. And then I also have some really shiny broadleaf hollies, which give it a nice contrast because this foliage has a different shape and a different color. Um, so the textures all look really nice together. So in total, I have three different greens in this window box container. I have the U, the holly with the berries, and this type of juniper that drapes really nicely over the front of the window box. As I was getting to these containers in the front here, I quickly ran out of the greens that I had brought home. So I went ahead and I cut some more pine from my woods um, or in the back of my yard. And I also have a bag of pine cones that my son and I had foraged from the woods just a few days ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up these containers with some more of this pine and the pine cones, and then I'll show you the finished product. you can use any greens that you have around your garden. Um, if you don't have any, maybe a friend or a neighbor will let you cut from their garden. You can just be creative using what you have for little to no money. These cost me zero. Um, I used all foraged materials and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. The lights that I'm using are battery operated lights and I can link them in the description of this video below. And what I do is I take the little battery pack and I put it in a sandwich bag to kind of protect them from moisture and the elements. The sun went down really quickly yesterday afternoon. So now it's the next day and we're gonna take a closer look at the planters that we finished up. And I'm really happy with the way that all of the containers turned out. 
At the greens workshop, the hostess had a large variety of greens that we could have chosen to work with for our arrangements. She foraged all of these greens from her own yard and garden. There were cypress and junipers, as well as boxwoods and hollies, um, hollies with beautiful berries, and she also had winterberry. There was even some uh, foliage that had variegation, such as euonymus. And even pyrus japonica make great cutting greens for your containers. This container here, I added some pine from my garden, as well as these yellow junipers to add another element of color and depth. The what makes these containers really interesting is the use of different textures and colors. So here we have all different types of greens, but you can see how well they work together. This here is Leland Cypress, and I used that in the front to drape over the edge of the container. And then this is the yellow juniper that I cut for my own garden, as well as pine that I cut from my garden and I inserted these pine cones that we also foraged here in my yard. And these made a beautiful accent for this container and all of this was completely free. I used pine cones to add an accent to my containers, but you could even use something like twigs that you can spray paint if you choose to and insert them in the center to provide some height. You can also even find small logs that you can add, similar to what people do with birch logs. You can use regular tree logs and even those would add a really pretty accent. The combinations are endless and you can do these pretty much free because all of these things come from nature and are read readily available to you. So go ahead and have fun with it. Combine different textures and different elements and see what you can come up with. At the end of this video, I'm gonna insert some footage that I took from the Greens Workshop. There were some really pretty combinations. I hope that you've enjoyed this and got some ideas for making your own winter containers. Thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you soon.